It was actually in 2011. Um, we went along on a mission trip um, with our local church to Samoa and we had an opportunity to come alongside this um, organisation, Samoa Victim Support, and it was there that we got to see um, the need that was actually needed. Even though we were in an English-speaking church, we all three had a heart for Samoan people. So as, when we went on this trip and we saw um, Samoan victim support and we had such a compassion towards this group, we came back and we deci decided just to follow up and just to we keep emailing them and saying what can we do, you know, um, because we wanted to contribute to what was already in place there. But we were just like, what can we do? What can we? Um, what, what was in our hand? And so we had a meeting with her upstairs and it was there that Lena shared that her heart was to open up a branch in Sydney. And so when she asked the question, we put our hand up and it was say, yes, we volunteer, we don't have, we don't have the skills to do it, but we, we just, our heart was a willing heart. You know, for us it wasn't just knowing, so to us it's like we went, we came, we heard, we saw, now we were responsible. Okay, so um, we've started fasting and praying um, on the 29th of, of every month. Basically, that was in the lead up to our mission trip that Celia mentioned earlier. Um, we decided to fast and pray on the 29th of each month, just marking the anniversary of the tsunami hitting Samoa in 2009. And that was really the purpose of the trip initially, was to go and put hope back into the nation. We've also been holding information forums um, and just wanting to really bring awareness to the greater Samoan community in Sydney and Pacific Island um, community in Sydney just to bring them, um, make them aware of the fact that this species is in existence um, and that we're doing what we can here in support of them. We've adopted a, a demonstration um, in our forums where basically we, we want to just make a statement of crossing out the V on our t-shirts which really is about empowering them to no longer live in the victim mentality. initiatives that we want to um, bring forth. Um, what we're finding is that a lot of the girls are, or the kids are actually staying in the chapter. Um, a lot of them still don't have any, like there's no healing process or no program to help them, um, not rehabilitate but really to empower them to come out like stronger and still value work and purpose and be able to overcome like just the trauma, go alongside and just help them um, just change mentality, like from a victim mentality to a survivor. So um, one of the ways that we're making a difference is an online partnership um, and that gives people opportunity to be able to give um, online. So um, be able to like sponsor a child, um, be able to help generate income, be able to just sustain longevity of um, SVSG. You know, our heart here is to raise up the next generation because we really believe that they have a lot to contribute. And so I'm now going to hand it over to um, Brooke who would just share with you what the juniors are looking into doing. Okay, so what's ahead for SVSG juniors? We really, um, I guess the language that we have across this is the power of a movement. And that's so, like, it's powerful in and of itself because it's about raising the next generation to really stand for something, stand against injustice and all the, you know, all the violence that the kids are facing over in Samoa. And so I guess um, the way that we look at it is we want to make this, this whole thing go viral, pretty much. And young people being at their most influential stage in life, every aspect of their life needs to be affected in some way. So that's what we want to hone in on, whether it be through social media, um, merchandise, events, all that kind of stuff that's going to draw young people, that's what we want to um, use to our advantage to spread the message of SVSG juniors, to really get the word out there and that is going to be our movement, is that we make it so inescapable for our young people to get away from the message in the heart of juniors that you know they, they just see an image and it's iconic straight away, like, oh, juniors, that's it, I want to be a part of it. And um, so yeah, the power of a movement, it's 
It's literally, we want to change the culture, we want to shift the culture and we want to give the young people something to stand for. You know, initially we started, but our heart was to support Samoa. But getting more involved in the community here, we started to realise the greater need of the Pacific Islanders here in Sydney. So now we're starting to work with some of the services that are already in place here in Sydney. And we're having a point of contact in all these areas that um, they already, they, we will use their expertise to help out. And um, so basically like building like a referral or a directory so they can, um, we can all work together as a team. You know, when we talk about the power of movement, it's basic, it, it represents people rising up and making a difference. It's, you know, rising up out of their own circumstances. And there's something powerful in that. You know, biblically it says, give and it shall be given unto you. You know, for, for me personally, I, and here in Australia, we are so blessed with so much. And my heart, my heart is to, you know, I'm so blessed and I desire to be a blessing. So that's the heart that we here in Sydney want to portray when we extend our hands to others.